what is up guys Krugio here and I am gonna be showing you the new Gravekeeper uh, support cards so uh, so the new Gravekeeper cards can be found in the dark dimension so you have uh, you finally have uh, Necrophaly this card is essential in any Gravekeeper's deck uh, so, so before this was out, Gravekeepers weren't running as good, so now that it's here, we can play efficiently with <laughs> the Gravekeepers. A Necrophaly Throne, activate one of these effects. Add a Gravekeeper monster from your deck to your hand, or immediately after this effect resolves, normal summon one Gravekeeper monster. You can only activate one Necrophaly Throne per turn, which is good. Um, so, that's, so that'll be really good. Next up is Gravekeeper's Spy. Flip, special summon one Gravekeeper monster, 1500 or less attack from your deck. So, if you have Necrophaly on the field, you can set that flip, uh, special summon, uh, one moment. I, I'm just going to find her. Uh, special summon your Spiritualist. And during your main phase, if Necrophalic Spiel, you can fusion summon a spellcaster type fusion monster, extra deck, using discard control, and other monsters from your hand or field as the fusion materials. So, uh, next you got your fusion Gravekeeper's Supernaturalist. Uh, so it needs two Gravekeeper's monsters. Uh, gains attack defense equal to bind original levels of the materials used for its fusion. So you want to use your two highest uh, starred Gravekeepers to give it the most attack. All Necrophaly is on the field. This card and any card in your zone, in your field zone, cannot be destroyed by card effects. During main phase, you can activate this effect. During the end phase the turn, add a Gravekeeper or Necrophaly from deck to your hand. Um, and here you have Garn Flip. Return one of your opponent's monsters to hand. Uh, tribute uh, Gravekeeper's Descendant. Tribute another Gravekeeper's to target a uh, card your opponent controls. Destroy it. Uh, Gravekeeper's Nobleman. On this card, you control destroyed by battle. His opponent's attack monster is sent graveyard. You can automatically just special summon one grave cube monster from your deck. Face down defense. So you can actually use the effect nobleman. Summon out your guard. They attack guard. Use flip effect. Turn monster to hand. Um, Rain of spirit. Target grave cube monster graveyard. Special summon that target. This card's activation effect are unaffected by Necrophaly. So you don't need uh so Necrophaly can be on field. You can still use that effect to get to summon to get to special summon your gravekeeper. So you no need to worry about that. Uh Watcher, uh activate spell trap monster effect that would make them discard when it resolves. Uh, you can use that to negate the activation dude destroyed that card so that way they can't like uh get a card they'd have to discard a card to get a card but you can stop that which is really good up next is the ambusher when this card flip face up uh, target card in your opponent's graveyard place that target on bottom of their deck uh this card is sent from field graveyard after being flipped face them. Target one necrophily card in your graveyard. Add that target to hand. This current effect cannot be negated by the effect necrophily. So essentially, if you had necrophily thrown in the graveyard, necrophily on field, you can use his effect to grab thrown, and then you can use thrown again. Uh, so shaman. Uh, gains 200 defense for each Gravekeeper monster in your graveyard. Again, all monster effects that activate in the graveyard, except Gravekeeper's monsters, while Necrophaly is on field. 
So it'll make it so your Gravekeeper Monsters effects will work while your opponents won't. Uh, your opponent cannot activate field spell cards. Also, field spell cards cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. So that's good. Uh, you got this one, Gravekeeper's Heretic. This card on the field is unaffected by all other card effects. Thomas Necrophaly is also on the field. So when you play this card, it won't gain the extra 500 attack from Necrophaly. Uh, you already know uh, Spiritualist's effect. Charm of Shabtai. During either player's turn, you can discard this card. Till the end phase, Grave Cube Monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle. But that's okay. Because we, I won't, I won't run that. It's not my thing. Necrophaly Temple. All Grave Keeper Monster and Necrophaly are both on field. Monsters your opponent control lose 500 attack and defense. Also, during the main phase, if you control no card and field, so you can activate one Necrophaly directly from hand or graveyard. This card procession is destroyed by opponent's effect. And set graveyard, you can set one Necrophaly spell trap directly from your deck, except Necrophaly Temple. So that's actually really good. Is that one of them? Nope. Uh, so that's the new uh, support. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I actually made a deck, but I am going to actually recreate it. That way I have more overflow with it. Right now, 22 cards, not really, it's not bad. So, Necrofound, uh, Gravekeeper, sorry. Gravekeeper. So, I'm just gonna trash that deck completely. So, we're gonna run Throne and Fally. Also, I was gonna run that. Of course, you want to screw three. This one, the Hidden Temple, uh, Ranked Duels, so that you're gonna, because it's this, I think only if both Gravekeeper Monster and Necrophaly on field, neither player can special summon monster except Gravekeeper Monsters. If either Gravekeeper Monster or Necrophaly is not on field, destroy this card. So that's what you're gonna want. I recommend running two Temples and two Rites. And you want to run your Gravekeeper's Chief. But this is either through Rank Duels or Shizu Ishtar. Kind of goes through Rank Duels. Um, you also got Recruiter. Yeah, Rank Duels. This is how I get a few of mine. Uh, so when this card you control is sent. To your graveyard, have gravekeeper monster with 1500 less defense from deck to hand. Practically, you can grab any of your uh, gravekeeper monsters. So, spy, flip, special summon one gravekeeper monster with 1500 or less attack from your deck. But you want to run two of them. Uh, you want to run two spiritualists. This is just so you can get stuff. Um, and you do want to run your three spirit supernaturalists. That's what I do. Is I'll fusion summon out two. Then I'll use effect. I'll use polymerization to fuse one with those two. That way it's getting a lot of attack. Um... You want two descendants just so you can tribute destroy. Uh, one ambusher. And. Okay. If I'm not really sure. Uh, you don't have to use this as a guide, but if you want to, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Th so. Um. Uh, yeah. If this card is summoned, sorry. Okay. 
Yeah, it's unaffected, so one of that I'd say. Uh, just so you have a heavy hitter, one heretic. So now we can focus on a uh, few. So you do want to add a poly just for safety. Uh, throw in, I, I did get this, uh, vision of ice is where you can find that, oh shit, no, um, not sure what else we can add, if anything, and probably be another monster, but we can just check again. Um, we can also add that because what we can do is banish uh, monsters, but if Necrofound's meal, we want to have the chief on the field, that way we can, uh, use that to fusion summon into a big guy. And you also, you can also, uh, run, uh, Quintet Magician. For the effect of using five different spellcasters with different names. And we actually have that. Uh, we actually have one, two, three, four, five, seven with different names. So we'll give this deck a go. And if I and if there's anything that needs to be improved, I'll do that. Uh, but what we can, can go with a light point boost day. So, let's go into a PvP, do a few duels and see how we do. Yes, I know this. So he's a bronze rank seven. I just had to do a really big haul. And already, so already we can do a pretty big fusion. Hopefully, so you can see, pull off a pretty big fusion. It's like in the half. Okay, so he's gonna be playing heroes. Okay. Oh! What? I don't know why I didn't. Now we can go grab Necrofally, activate the temple, and then we'll be doing pretty solid. Okay, so he's going, he has the high level skill, so. So now I can activate this. Boom. Now our graveyards are locked. He cannot do anything. Well, neither can I, but that is until I can get the chief out on the field. Uh, 
So Viking is monster, tribute for the chief, go down, banish to fusion. It'll be all good. Alright. So, uh, cards in the graveyard cannot be banished. Negate any card effect that would move a card grave in the graveyard. There. Okay. So, next turn, I'm tributing for the chief. Doing that, then I'll banish, and then fusion. Okay, so its monsters are gonna be 500 uh, weaker. Oh wow! Okay, I was not acting. But that is okay, because I have a plan. So. He's thinking, do I attack the spiritualist? Oh, why don't I keep... I'm, but I knew he was going after that. Ooh. This is where you can start, you can make your opponent mad. Uh, so we are gonna go ahead. And now I can do this, uh, because essentially we have three, six monsters with different names. Boom. This is where we go. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. And the Quintet Magician. And use its effect. Boom! That is that. Yeah, I got 75 gems. Oh, wow. Do one more. So... And we'll see how this goes. So, I'm putting up against the bronze rank one. So. Okay, if they're letting me go first, then this could be good. Already, I can already do this. <laughs> so he can't really. <laughs> Okay. So what I could do is... Oh, he has something.
If he has summon down, he'll send my monster's graveyard. And then, I guess. Okay, there we go. Mirror wall. Wow. Alright. Yeah. And you'll be destroying it. Because he ain't gonna be having enough to keep it in on the field. Alrighty, we were able, on our second turn, we were able to Tribune, get Chief out, bring back our Descendant, and I think next turn I can go for the Magicalized Fusion. Wow, he surrendered. Okay. Okay, so I also like to kind of check out. All right, he had a pr like um oh. okay. Even this guy had a better deck, like it was built, and I still managed, and I managed to take it out. Guess one more. Guess that last duel, opponent surrendered. He was like, no, F it, I'm gone. And there's no way for me to activate camera. Okay, so now I can fusion off real quickly. Activate effect. Set this. We're gonna go ahead and grab Necrophaly. How dare he? Okay. But as long as I can get a Gravekeeper neck. No. We're gonna see if he'll go straight. Okay, if he activates uh, that, what I can do is that. Yep. <laughs> he think he has me beat. And I act fate. So that kept that safe. No. 
Have I uh, activated this first? So he actually got the better of us from this one. So, ah oh man. But overall, deck's really this deck's good. Um, would I recommend playing in? You can if you want to. Yep. So that was three duels I did. Yeah, three duels. All my previous ones. So. Yep. Oh, wow. That, he actually went all out. Okay. We'll go one more. So let's get that. So let's do this. Okay, so this is actually a really good. Mm, okay. So I can set this. So, I don't want to do that just yet. Okay. Let's just see one. Okay. So, he hasn't done anything yet. So, now I can go flip. Uh, see what he has. Okay, so we are going to special summon, oh no, uh, and of course an attack, we do need Necrophaly on the field to use Spiritualist. Uh, do I want to activate that? No. Uh, do I want to go in this? Yes. No, what do I want? I'll go in defense. So, I just want to see what he has. Probably uh, something. No.
Oh my. I got just ending this duel. Well, you can see this thing can get out a lot of monsters in one turn. I do need to... Wow. <laughs> so this deck's really good. And, uh, there is a... So this deck it does do good. Um, what? What can he have? Okay, so he was running blue eyes and that. Okay. So four, so three out of four, not bad. Oh, I should get my uh, rewards. So, so, so yeah, this actually is a really good deck. Uh, yes, gotta get them gems. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Hopefully you'll have an idea of what uh, Gravekeeper deck you want to build. So in the meanwhile, I will see you all later.